has opened the scriptures to us. It's Miss Chelsea. I'm so glad you could join me this week for Children's Liturgy. I hope you're ready to get started. Hi, I'm Sophia. Hi, I'm Lila. And I'm Mr. Aaron. We, we hope, hope you enjoy the music. Hi, I'm Jesse. Good morning, everyone. It's Mr. Manny, and it's great to be here with you on this third Sunday of Easter. Hey, it's Izzy. Thanks for joining us today. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving God, we give thanks for our school, our friends, and our teachers who help us when we don't understand. We pray that all children may have the chance to go to school to learn the skills that they need for the future. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This week we're going to talk about how sometimes we don't always understand things right away, that we need someone else to help teach and explain things to us. Jesus teaches his disciples in today's gospel story. So let's wait and see what he has to show them. In today's first reading, Peter gives a speech at the temple of Jerusalem. He wants people to know that when they make a big mistake and turn against Jesus, it's not too late to correct their mistakes. Peter said to the people, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy One and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead, of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand, through the mouth of all the prophets, that Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your patience 
shine upon us. Lord, let your face shine upon us. When I call, answer me, O oh my just God. You relieve me when I am in distress. Have pity on me. that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will listen to me when I call upon him. Lord, let your face shine upon us. All right, everybody, let's all stand and sing our Alleluia together. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The disciples from Emmaus told what had happened on the road and how they knew it, he was the Lord when he broke the bread. While Jesus' disciples were talking about what had happened, Jesus appeared to them and said, May God give you peace. They were frightened and terrified because they thought they were seeing a ghost. But Jesus said, Why are you so frightened? Why do you doubt? Look at my hands and feet and see who I am. Touch me and find out for yourselves. Ghosts don't have flesh and bones, as you see I have. After Jesus said this, he showed him his, them his hands and feet. The disciples were so glad and amazed they could not believe it. Jesus then asked them, Do you have something to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it as they watched. Jesus said to them, While I was still with you, I told you everything written about me in the Law of Moses, the Book of Prophets, and the Psalms had to happen. Then he helped them understand the scriptures. He told them, The scriptures say that the Messiah must suffer. Then three days later he will rise from death. They also say that all my people of every nation must be told in my name to return to God in order to be forgiven. So beginning in Jerusalem, you must tell everything that has happened. The Gospel of the Lord. Okay, so let's talk a little, a little bit about the gospel story that we heard today. So in the story, Jesus appeared to his disciples. Can you imagine if you were on the playground at school or at your house with some friends or maybe your brother and sister, and all of a sudden you looked over and there was Jesus? What do you think you would do? I think that my mouth might fall open. I'd be look like this. Because that would be so hard to believe, right? Even though the stories in the Bible tell us that he has risen from the dead and that he is part man and part divine and that he's one of us, I think I would still be a little bit shocked if he showed up at my house or my school. Same with his disciples. They were shocked to see him in human form after he had died. So how did he help them understand that it was really him? Do you remember he ate food? He let them touch him and he sat down and spoke to them. So the last thing that Jesus asked his disciples to do after he ate with them and let them touch him was to spread the good news. 
Do you remember what the good news is? That he had risen from the dead and that we too can live forever if we turn away from sin and believe in God. So just think of it as if there's a problem at school that you don't understand, who do you go to for help? Probably your teacher, sometimes your friends, sometimes your parents. And so we need to look at, at Jesus as our teacher. He helps us understand things when sometimes we may have a hard time believing. So let's take the time this week to maybe help someone who's having trouble with an issue, whether it be school related or maybe friend related or sport related. Try and help them out and explain things in a different way so they can see it differently. Hi everybody, it's time for the profession of faith. This is the time in the mass where we all proclaim what we believe in or what we believe in. So let's all say together, yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in God the Father? Yes, Lord, I believe. Make the earth and all we see. Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, Lord, I believe. God's only Son, born of Mary. Yes, Children, this is our faith. God will give us eternal life if we hold true to it. Now in faith, let us pray for all those who need our prayers. To each petition, please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. That our Holy Father and all leaders of the church will tell the good news in every land. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people who have no faith will learn about Jesus and believe the good news, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I'm going to give you about 30, maybe 10 seconds to think about any petitions that might be special to you in your heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, today's gospel reminds us that we have nothing to fear. When Jesus died, he delivered us from everything that is evil. When he rose from the dead, he showed us the way to everything that is good. May we follow him all the way to heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today, I'm going to be closing us out with a small prayer. God, our teacher, help us understand your great love for us and to share that love with our brothers and sisters throughout the world as we work to make the world a better and fairer place. Amen. Bye, guys. I hope you have a great week. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody, and go make a difference. Bye. Have a wonderful week. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Bye, everybody. See you next week.